Hey everyone, Mark here from a nerd named Mark Podcast. Let me just, boom, adjust the mic. So, I'm doing something new. If you, besides a new camera, obviously, Ooh, the quality. Um, so, I've been doing a lot of Toku videos, as you know, outside of my podcast. And like, I've been slowing down the video game videos because I haven't had time to play video games. I'm working a lot and watching a lot of stuff. But, I new seasons a new series started for super sentai i haven't watched super sentai like i've only watched like three seasons i think like go ranger um and i started uh rio solger and there's one other season i've watched which was i think based on like the original uh super sentai that mighty more from power rangers was based off of so i haven't watched a lot of super sentai when it comes to toku i watch a lot of like ultraman and common rider though Besides, like, Godzilla and stuff like that. But from, like, a series standpoint, it's mainly just Ultraman and Kamen Rider. That's my main, what I like to watch. And so, when I was getting back into Power Rangers with Dino Fury, which, if you haven't seen on the channel, I've reviewed every episode, which is three. <laughs> so, hey, consistency is key. Um, I decided with Zenkiger, what got me into it at first was all the still shots I saw leading up to it and the merge. And I was like, you know what? With it being 2021, with how easily accessible it is to get subtitled shows in Toku stuff, I was like, you know what? I'm going to give this a chance. I've actually never watched a Super Sentai as it aired. Anytime I've watched any, it was like well after they've aired. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to watch Zenkaiger. Watch the premiere. Waited like everyone else patiently, and I used that term loosely on Twitter, for subtitled versions to be dropped. And so, yeah, the first episode... Finally got subbed. Uh, big shout out to TV Niho because Niho because that's where I get all my subbed Toku stuff. Episode one is called Machine World is monstrously mysterious, and I'm I gotta say for someone who hasn't watched Super Sentai like fully or any newer stuff, like I said, like Real Ogre, I haven't finished. I started it. I'm twelve episodes or so in. I got into it because I was like, well, Dino Fury is entertaining, and I like it. Uh, from a merch standpoint, Hasbro's not doing the best quality merch, and I was like, well, I'm going to get some Bandai merch for it, or this and that. So I was like, let me watch the show in the Super Sentai Japanese version, so I can like get into the merch and get in, because like, the merch looks good, but I got to like the show. So I started watching that. I'm not finished with it. I'm going to probably binge it and finish it this week, but Zenkiger, the first episode, very entertaining. I don't know if it's because I'm always used to Ultraman and Kamen Rider. Uh, I like the humor and the balance of it. Like, it doesn't take itself seriously, but it does. I have a serious story. So, with Zenkiger, I'm going to try to not spoil a lot of things. So, warning, there are spoilers in this video. Warning, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Um, We meet Kato, the main ranger, the main character. And I thought it was funny because he was, like, walking around, like, the Sky Tree Tower place. And he had a bungee cord with him. He won the bungee jump off it. Security kicked him out. And the one, the only reason I'm bringing up the specific scene is because they're like, we don't care if you're a YouTuber. And he's like, I'm not a YouTuber. And I just think with how Dino Fury is handling social media and this and that. And then Zang Kiger bringing up the YouTuber thing. I like how, like. The pop culture of being a content creator is, like, in some cases it's used as a negative term. In other cases, it's not. Oh, my camera kind of lagged. Sorry about that. I hope that I can fit that in the edit. But who knows? So, um, we find out in the beginning that, basically, it's almost like a multiverse. Every Super Sentai season, I believe, now has its own world, so to speak. And the main bads have captured all but one into these gears. And I was like, cool, I like that. That's actually a cool idea. So maybe along the way I'll learn something about some of the other worlds. I don't know. They were only one episode in. Uh, we find out Kato, the main character, you know, he's, you know, he wants to just be the first to do something. He has, like, ambition to be just the first or do something great that no one else has done, which is cool. Everyone can kind of relate to that, you know? Like, I can. Like, I want to be the first to do something eventually. <laughs> I don't know what, but so now with the world, we have a whole bunch of these androids. I think they're called Kinkanoids. They magically appear in Kato's world. 
So they're from a parallel universe, and they just got merged over there. So now there's a bunch of androids that randomly disappeared. Everyone's like, what the hell is going on? And um, we find out that Kato's parents were scientists who discovered the parallel world like 10 years ago. And I don't know what happened to the parents. I might have glossed over it, and I just kind of forgot because I have a bad memory. I watched the episode twice, so I'm trying to remember. And I just finished the episode really recently within the last like half hour. So I'm just really bad memory with like instant stuff. It takes a bit for things to like stay in my old brain. And we, so we find out his parents were scientists who discovered the parallel world. Um, the evil uh, Kinkanoids show up. They start attacking everybody. Uh, Kato tries to attack the general and he just flings him away. And um, yeah, it was just like, okay, this is kind of cool. Uh, you know, down the road in the episode, we do find out that, like, there's a base underneath his grandmother's, uh, candy shop, and they find out that his parents, they were studying all the different worlds for Super Sentai, and so they made, like, the gear lingers, I think, or gear to linger, I don't, I don't know how to enunciate things, okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna learn, like, I try not to say anything until I know how to properly say it without, like, butchering the, the what what how it actually is said but mainly he's he's a super sentai ranger so and they were studying all their phones and they made coins for basically every sentai uh world which i believe because he's the 45th there's 44 others uh they start battling he you know has his gun he starts you know trying to save everyone that's when we're introduced to um jiren or urin jiren jiran and the whole other time leading up to this, he was, like, kind of assimilating, hanging out with, you know, fellow teenagers and having barbecue and this and that. And he's been, you know, up until then, it was kind of like one of those things where he was, like, crisis of identity because he's also a kinganoid. And he doesn't want to join up with them and take over the planet. He wants to have fun and dance and eat food. So, uh, you know, he protects a kid and Kento, Kato, I don't know why I say Sorry, I was watching Kamen Rider Saber also, so Kento, like, yeah. Uh, Kato, he gives him one of the gear lingers, and then they morph. Also, the morphing sequence is cool. I like the little, like, quick little fight editing, the like, green screen, like, little ensemble they did. Like, that looked really cool. I'm trying not to spoil so much stuff. Spoilers, just spoilers, okay? I'm sorry. And I, I thought that looked really cool. The visual effects of the episode, good. My main thing was there was a Godzilla reference. As a big Godzilla fan, I enjoyed the fact that uh, Zenkai Jiren, which is his morph name, when he got into his Zord mode, he went into like a dinosaur, dino mode, and he was a T-Rex, and he did the fire blast out of his mouth to spin backwards like a roll and hit the, the main, like, larger monster and i was like that's a godzilla reference i remember that in godzilla i was like i love that that was just a little nod and that kind of like got a good laugh out of me um i do like the season so far i like the first episode it really got me intrigued i definitely want the gearlinger dx and i want some of those medals that i'm still working on my common rider stuff so once i'm probably done with some getting some more saber stuff in the mail i will probably get on that and start getting those that is definitely on my list of things i want i still have to put them on another shelf because or another display case because this is about to be full i'm still unboxing and putting a lot of stuff on here that's why it looks different and more bare than it was before because i'm trying to organize everything um but yeah zenkaiser it's Zen, uh, zenkaiger um zenkaiser is the name of Kato when he's morphed, uh, but Zenkaiger is really good. I'm really enjoying it. Good first episode. Like I said, I'm new to Super Sentai, so please be gentle with me. Like, I, I, I'm learning, okay? Like, I love my toku, but Super Sentai has always been, like, the bottom of the, like, my toku list, so I never really got into it. So this is just me finally getting into Super Sentai and Zenkaiger. It seems like a good point to get into. Because it is an anniversary season. So it's going to be, I assume, like most anniversary seasons, a lot, like a swan song to everything that led up to it. There's going to be a lot of references to previous seasons. 
And who knows through this, I might find seasons that I actually want to go back and watch for Super Sentai. That's that's my main hope with this. Because while there's a lot of Ultraman, a lot of Kamen Rider for me to watch, I'm always open to taking a break between those and like getting into some Super Sentai, which is why I'm getting into this. Um, did you guys, if you watched the first episode, let me know in the comments below what you thought. Don't forget to like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have more Toku stuff. I'm going to be building a lot more Soto figures and doing videos for those more obviously toku hauls when i get more stuff in the mail or when i go to the tokyo central in maine or book off and i find any treasures for myself uh i don't know i'm trying to figure out how to review super sentai stuff because like i, I know there's a lot of references to previous seasons especially with the opening and i didn't you know pick up on that because like i didn't i haven't watched a lot of super sentai so if anything i'm like a baby learning this stuff so you're gonna see me learn more and grow as a super sentai viewer and i'm not the authority on super sentai at all and i never will claim to be the authority on that stuff so i i'm just learning everything and i'm enjoying it so far uh with that being also the intro video with the dance stuff catchy the music was catchy it stuck in my head i love it and that's it. I'm not going to say any more about it. But I thank you guys for watching. Uh, obviously, I'm still getting used to how to review stuff on video because on my podcast, I review stuff constantly. And it's a lot different when you're just like reading and doing a video. Like, I'm learning how to do a lot more video um, reviewing. So, with that being said, that's it for the video. I thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.